OK, Ty, back with Sheffield in 2015 and you must be looking forward to the season ahead. Yeah, after a disappointing end to last year with injury for me, it's, um, you know, I, I feel that there's a few uh, few things that need to be finished off at Sheffield and I feel it's, it's, a, it's a great club and it's got all the right attributes to be the best in the Premier League and... Um, you know, we're, with the new additions into the team, in uh, Arthur and um, and also uh, Belago, and um, you know, I, I feel we're we're heading in the right direction. Slightly different for you this year as well, solely focusing on Premier League. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, my last 18 months hasn't been ideal with injury, and it, it's been a different approach for me this year than any other year, and it's it's quite bizarre actually, but. Um, I'm actually relishing it and I'm enjoying it and it's a different direction for me as a, as a writer and um, you know it's it's been six years since I've just been solely signing in the Premier League so it's been a bit different but um, like I said everything feels pretty good at this stage and um, you know I've built some new equipment for the year and um, I'm sharing a workshop with Josh and Arthur, so we're having a bit of a laugh along the way. And, um, you know, everything just seems like it's... With Sheffield, it's heading in the right direction. If you can stay injury-free, obviously, you've got a point to prove to a certain extent, and that could benefit uh, Sheffield at the Premier League level as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know what I'm capable of. The promotion know what I'm capable of. And, uh, you know... I don't have to prove to anyone what I'm capable of. I know I know what I can do, and they know what I can do. And it's just a matter of just making sure that everything's in place to make sure that happens. And uh, I feel so far, I feel really good with everything. And uh, and I might start off a bit slower. I haven't had a lot of bike time since my injury last year, and I crashed again in Australia and re-injured it. So that wasn't ideal either. But I feel really fresh now, really really sharp, and maybe not 100%. The, is in body fitness you know I feel strong no injury fitness but I haven't been training a lot obviously with the injury in Australia and um, I feel with bike time I, it will all come back pretty quick and start back in the gym and work hard and um, you know like I said with Josh and Arthur around uh, their young exuberance will uh, bring me along. Sheffield looking strong on paper I know on paper doesn't count for anything but you'd be you'd be hoping that you can be serious contenders come the end of the season. Yeah yeah definitely um, you know I uh, you know with the team the way it is and you know um, obviously uh, I had a big chat with the promotion about the direction and you know tried to help bring Arthur in and it, it worked in really well and you know um, obviously his credentials for the future are bright and we're all forgetting that we've got the British Under-21 champion and five years ago he never sat on a motorbike. So to where level he's at now and with him riding Wolverhampton, which you know me and Chris spoke hot, a lot about Josh, I think um, his development is going to be massive this year and the, f- the future's bright for him. I know he's built two brand new bikes to start the year and he's, he's got everything in order. So, um, you know, and, uh, you know, with Steady, you get what you get with Simon, you know, and, and same with Andre and with Belago and myself and, you know, Ash, Ash is a hometown hero. So, like I said, everything looks really good on paper, and you know, logic-wise, it, it should work. And um, I, I can't see why there won't be a reason why it won't. It's been a disappointing few years for the club. Not quite achieved what what they set out to do, but for the first time in in a fair few number of years, there's a genuine buzz and a genuine excitement ahead of the season. Yeah, I think last year the promotion. I, I'm, I'm quite close with the promotion, and. Um, that that they were not that they were disappointed with how last year went and you know obviously my form coming into the club wasn't ideal and I had some issues with engines and and issues with other things and then I finally overcome that and started hitting what I was capable of and then got injured so that was unfortunate but um I think the promotion last year brought the club in February and um you know that they were behind the eight ball they didn't have many options in terms of what riders they could sign and what riders they couldn't but I feel and they feel at this point that they got every rider they wanted there's no one that they didn't want and um, you know it was unfortunate about Taylor but you know Andre wasn't sure whether he was going to be fit or not and you know he was always in Sheffield's plans but luckily now you know Andre's fit I watched him practice the other day and it it was like he hadn't been off the bike so that's good in the club's uh, in the club's direction and uh, and what our, our future holds. And with, with these mini friendships that, that are going around in the team and with you knowing a few of the other riders already, it looks as though Team Spirit's going to be big at Sheffield this year and it can play a big big part of Speedway. Yeah, well basically we all live in Sheffield so um, you know there's like me, Arthur and Josh basically 
sharing a workshop, living based like they spend every weekend at my house, and we, you know, have a laugh. And um, you know, uh, Ash ain't far away as well, and and Simon lives just around the corner. And then you've uh, David Belago's just coming in, and he's going to be staying with a former Sheffield legend in Reg Wilson. So he, he's going to be a part of everything. And you know, I think as a group, like we're all going to be together like a lot. And um, I, I feel that we, we'll gel really well together. And we we gelled well last year, but it just obviously didn't work on track. And obviously there was reasons why that didn't happen, but there's no reason why this year it can't swing quickly back the other way and um, we be at the pointy end. And uh, I, I personally believe we have a, you know, a playoff chance, you know, and I don't think the club's uh, definitely not thinking any other reason than that.